Hey everybody, Pico Gamer here, and a little bit of news about the PlayStation Neo drop today. It is a rumor, but the, the source is the same dude who leaked the Neo in the first place and the specs. Of course, we know the Neo is confirmed. It's coming out sometime. Not been shown publicly. We haven't got the specs 100% approved or at least confirmed by Sony, but the same guy. This is on IGN. A lot of other places have got this up. And as they said here, um, earlier, in the, earlier in the last month, there was a rumor that Sony's PS4 would come out, or PlayStation 4 Neo would come out, and it's going to be end of the year, right? Uh, and they're going to be coming out. In also, they were showing us at September Tokyo Game Show. Everything. There's other things that come out, but it said. However, this is part of a little snippet from the IGN article. Eurogamer's Richard Lee Better has now said that several sources have indicated to me that PlayStation Neo launches this year despite its E3 no-show. Lead better previously confirmed the code name and specifications for the PS4 Neo well before Sony's official confirmation, so can be considered a reliable source. And uh, I've had some people, or at least one person tell me, and you know, there's people with development sources all over the place and you know, we can all, you know, take it all the grain of salt. I'm not calling anybody a liar. And I, I can believe this guy because, well, he leaked it after he got it out there. But devs are talking to people and they're telling them what's happening. And did you see that, you know, Days Gone, why they did a Days Gone at the very end of that E3 press conference? It seemed funky and out of place. Why show it again? I've heard that that is when they're going to show the Neo. And if the Scorpio wasn't been shown off, they had to put it out there, and they would have said all this stuff is running, because I've also been told that a lot of the stuff at Sony's press conferences was really running on Neo, even though there is an app, there is a um, article out there, I'm trying to think here, that the God of War people said they weren't. Now, I know I made a video about, you know, I'm not supporting them, and I actually said that. If you listen to this other video where I said I don't support these two consoles, I had a commenter, and I've talked to them since then, and, you know, they've told me some, they told, actually, they were saying some in our comments on um, game, game ramblings, and they're not going to be told who they are. I'm not going to mention who they are. They don't have to say it, but uh, they, you know, they openly in the chat said this what they thought and what they've heard. Um, and I'm just going to leave it at that. But, so, you know, I, at first I thought, why is people saying it's all Neo, it's all Neo? Well... I'm thinking about this and now we got this the dude that got the neo leak that knows from other devs that this is coming then it, it makes sense that show was all about neo and maybe they were running that stuff on neo i don't know that point i don't you know i don't discredit anybody i'm just kind of staying down the run down the middle you know but you know take everything with a grain of salt but here's what i think is really going to happen is i believe lead better I, I hope i said that right lead better if i said it wrong if somebody correct me but if he's hearing this and it's going to launch this year <clears throat> it makes sense because it made it really was like they were really ramping up for e3 then sony came out and said boom scorpio six teraflops boom all this height so sony would probably had the rest of the day and went fuck what are we going to do now well let's just replace it not mention neo right now and then there's rumors that the NX and the Scorpio, uh, excuse me, the Neo will be shown at the Tokyo Game Show. So, in four minutes, I'm going to really keep this short. I'm going to do a quick, what do I think about this? And about the rumors, you know what, some people, you know, this guy, Lead Better, has a developer contacts. We've, I've heard people talk about their developer contacts. I'm not, I'm just going to say, if Sony, it looks like from this, this dude, that knows the information got the neo leaks and they like other people told me that if they're going to bring out this year it's a very strange way to do it microsoft is looking at my at holiday 2017 with a big big console Ter you know six teraflops blah 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 i'm just i'm not really i'm really kind of tired of this these you know the pissing i hate to say i agree with reggie philomay's um visa may excuse me i always say his last name wrong visa may's you know, let, you know, Sony and Microsoft really going to fight it out in that Red Sea. And I have to say, I agree that Red Ocean, however you said it. 
But if Sony releases this year, probably toward this Christmas, is Microsoft going to be able to come back and say, I mean, they got a year and a half. Do they really need a year and a half to get that hardware ready? I doubt it. I think they're ready to go or they're close to ordering it. They may even come out and say next year, this is a prediction, this is an idea. If Sony releases the Neo this year, then they may come out next next uh, E3 if they ha still haven't shown it off and maybe they've leaked and everything else to say, we're fully announcing it. Oh yeah, pre-orders go on sale today. It's, it's available in a month and maybe they'll launch it six to seven, eight months after the uh, Sony system. I don't know, that's just a thought. But that is a big difference. And if those specs of four little four teraflops versus six, they're gonna have a, they're gonna be out of sync again. So Microsoft will be on top and it's gonna be a back and forth. And I know what this is gonna start causing. This is gonna start causing multiple re-ups of these consoles and I'm not having it. Um, I'm really looking forward to what the NX is. There's been rumors again today I will loop this in here because I don't really like to report all the rumors for the NX because we got so many, we've all been burnt by them, but it's saying it's a little a right at the PS4 Neo specs, a little under to keep it there. I think you will have the Xbox, the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4, then you have the Neo and you have the Scorpio. If they, if they, or they're by, and right in this middle up and toward this part, there's going to be a sweet spot. If the Nintendo NX can hit that sweet spot and get devs happy, and the devs have been saying they were, they're happy with it, they're, they're, they're looking forward to it, then we may see this these weird release schedules between consoles really become a problem for Sony and Microsoft, and Nintendo's like, come develop for us. It's one console, we got Vulcan API, it's easy to develop for. But I'm going off in all this tangent of all three of them. Neo, 2016, is this good for Sony? What can they do versus Scorpio in 2017? Is this too early? What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. Somewhere down there is a subscribe button. Please click that subscribe button if you enjoyed this. And if you enjoyed this video on my channel, let everybody else know. You can follow me here on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, CrosshairTV.com, SkirmishFrogs.com for anything I do retro, and a new site that's just getting started, 8BitKitty.com. Picky Gamer, out.